Hey guys, let's get more news about Warriors, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Jordan Childs recalls cool moment with Warrior Stephen Curry during Olympics. One of the inspiring things about the Olympics is it brings athletes of every sport together in one place. Take for example Olympic medalist Jordan Childs, who met fellow gold medalist and Golden State Warrior star Stephen Curry at the Paris Olympics. In a recent interview with GQ Sports, the gold medalist gymnast recalls meeting one of the faces of modern basketball. I got to meet, Stephen, Curry, guys, Jordan Childs said, as shared by GQ Sports on Instagram. He actually knew who I was. He was like, hi, I'm Steph Curry, and I was like, I know who you are bro, like come on now. And he actually asked me, he was like, Jordan, can I take a picture with you? And I just felt so honored. I was like, oh my gosh, not Steph Curry wanting to take a picture with me. But yeah, it was really cool meeting him, and he's an inspiration. Besides enjoying his time in France, Stephen Curry also showed why he was one of the best basketball players in the world during the Olympics. During their semi-final comeback versus Serbia, the best shooter of all time erupted for 36 points to bring Team USA back from a 17-point deficit and advance to the gold medal round. Curry's 36 points is second to Carmelo Anthony's 37, the all-time Olympic record for most points in a game. Next, in the gold medal game against France, Chef Curry scored 24 points on eight three-pointers to seal the game for the Americans. Four of these threes also came in the last three minutes, which included a heat-check heave over the outstretched arms of Evan Fournier and Nicolas Batum. This performance was so otherworldly that Curry still watches highlights of the game. After the Olympics high, though, it's time to go back to earth. Stephen Curry signed a one-year, $62.6 million extension with the Warriors, though it's unclear whether the team has done enough to help him compete for his fifth NBA championship. The Warriors failed to acquire Laurie Markkinen or Paul George because they refused to include young players Jonathan Kuminga and Brandon Podziemski in potential deals. Fans might think it's front office malpractice to wait for young players to become stars while their 36-year-old superstar can still compete at a championship level. Kuminga and Podziemski have shown promise last season, but their development doesn't follow Chef Curry's rapidly shrinking title window, given the level of competition in the deadly Western Conference. In this case, can we blame fans for imagining Stephen Curry and LeBron James on the same team? Charles Barkley blasts ESPN for Lakers, Warriors contender claims. NBA fans who routinely watch and listen to mainstream media, the attention is almost always centered around a handful of teams. The Los Angeles Lakers, led by LeBron James, and the Golden State Warriors, led by Stephen Curry, were talked about an exorbitant amount relative to their status as legitimate NBA contenders, and Charles Barkley has a problem with that. On one hand, those two teams have some of the largest and most passionate fan bases of any team in the league. On the other, Barkley claims they got the word contender thrown around their name too often when, in actuality, they were not that good. Charles Barkley recently joined the Bill Simmons podcast, hosted by the ringer's Bill Simmons, to talk about Caitlin Clark, the state of NBA on TNT, and much more. Among the things they discussed was Barkley's dislike for the amount that the Lakers and Warriors get talked about on rival networks that are partners with the NBA. I don't know if you were watching our show, Barkley explained. But I went off on the news media last year, mainly a lot of those clowns over at the ESPN. I'm like every day for, like, three months, they ask, are the Lakers and the Warriors contenders? I'm like, yo man, I told y'all six months ago, the Lakers stink, and the Warriors stink. I did a whole soliloquy. I'm like, why do you guys on other networks, some of them are friends of mine, why do you guys keep telling us the Lakers and Warriors are good? The Lakers stink. The Warriors stink. Think about that. And then when they both got beat in the imaginary playoff bullsh asterisk asterisk t, Bill, that we made up, the play-in stuff, 
and then the Lakers win one game against Denver. I was like, see, now y'all did your thing on TV every day. I told y'all, the Warriors stink and the Lakers stink. And right now they're not relevant, either one of those teams going into the season. While Charles Barkley certainly has a point, it's important to remember the hold and fascination that the basketball world has with guys like LeBron James and Stephen Curry. And then when you add the global brands that both the Lakers as well as the Warriors are, and it's easy to see why they get talked about so much compare. Bill Simmons, who used to be a pre- and post-game guest on ESPN's NBA broadcasts, tried to explain the reasoning behind heavily involving the Lakers and Warriors in their shows. Some of that comes from the producers, which you've been pretty fortunate within your whole Turner experiences, Simmons said. I did those shows, they would tell you. I was doing TV during the years, the last kind of years with Kobe, and we were still leading with the Lakers. They were, just like talk Kobe, talk the Lakers, talk the Knicks. They just try to hit the three biggest teams. Successful trade proposal sends Jeremy subsidy from Blazers to Warriors. The Portland Trail Blazers will enter the new season looking to build on their 21-61 record. They entered the offseason looking to potentially move some of their more veteran players, but so far have only been able to move guard Malcolm Brogdon. Portland still has a few pieces that could net them some assets for the future, including veteran Jeremy Grant. Grant has been the subject of trade rumors all offseason, with most of them including the Warriors. Warriors have been looking for a way to build their roster alongside the Stars ahead of another title run. Grant could help fill a need for the Warriors, but the two sides have been unable to reach an agreement. This is mainly due to the Warriors' resistance to giving up more than one first-round draft pick. Portland asked for two first-round picks in any deal, a hard line they weren't willing to abandon. However, if the two sides can continue talking, there is a chance that a deal could be reached. In a new pitch from Bleacher Reports' Grant Hughes, Grant is sent to Warriors and Portland gets good money in return. He has four years remaining on his contract, coming into this season slated to make $29.7 million. Each year his salary increases, with his final year scheduled to pay him $36.4 million as a 33-year-old player. Signing a young forward to replace Grant could benefit the Trail Blazers. Hakimura is younger than Grant and has a friendlier agreement with the team. Signing Vincent could give Portland a good veteran presence on defense, and they could always trade him at the trade deadline or in the offseason. He will be on a deal that expires after this season. Overall, this could be a good deal for Portland if they move Grant. There is still time for both sides to reach an agreement and the structure of a deal could look something like this. Houston Jeremy Grant, Portland, March 12, 1994, is an American professional basketball player who currently plays for the Portland Trail Blazers in the National Basketball Association, NBA. He played for Syracuse University and was selected by the Philadelphia 76ers as the 39th overall pick in the 2014 NBA draft. Grant attended DeMotha Catholic High School in Hyattsville, Maryland, where, in his senior year, he averaged 12.5 points in 23 games. Considered a four-star recruit by ESPN.com, Grant was listed as the 11th best power forward and 37th best player in the country in 2012. In his second season at Syracuse University, Grant averaged 12.1 points, 6.8 rebounds, and 1.4 assists in 31.4 minutes. He also scored in double figures in 24 of 32 games played and scored 19 points in three games. In April 2014, Grant declared for the 2014 NBA draft, foregoing his final two years of college eligibility. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Jeremy Grant? Leave your opinion in the comments.